Are you afraid of violence? We get down if the play calls for it, bud. We're here for business. That's right. We can close each other's eyes right now real fast. Then ain't nobody gonna make no money. This is Detective Crockett, Miami Dade PD. We got him. No one has ever tread before where we are now. We're seeing their operations from the inside. Your agency cannot know how they do whatever it is they do. Take it to the limit one more time. When you first come in the game and try to play, then you drop a couple of hits, look how they wait to you. Boeing jets, slow express, out the country, but the blueberry still connect. Things get emotional, moves get messy, moves get messy, and the wrong people die. It's the aim at you, probably made you. If I owe you, I'm blowing you to see how I win. You take one for your team. There's undercover, and then there's which way is up. You think I'm in so deep, I forgot? I never doubt you. They discovered my guys were undercover, and we don't know how. This was an interagency task force. DEA, ATF, U.S. Customs. The leak could have come from any one unit. I gotta assume my operational security is compromised. Compromised. Your whole OPSEC is blown. You're stone cold dead in the water. Meanwhile, it does not track. White supremacist gang? White prison gangs as tweakers and meth labs and trailer parks. Bouncing the old lady around until they get busted back. And how do they get all high tech with sophisticated counter intel? And what were you talking to you for anyway? Miami Dade wasn't part of the task force. Uh -huh. They don't know you. So you want to recruit us? Identify them. Who are they? How did they cut into us? How do we get into them? How do we get all close and personal? This is a story about being undercover, and and it's and the uh, and what happens when you go deep undercover, particularly if you're working in a, if you're doing an operation in a foreign country where your badge doesn't count and where you can't have a SWAT team surveilling you and people are not in contact. You really are out on the edge, all by yourself, and that's the most dangerous undercover to do, and one of the terms it's used for it is kind of enhanced undercover, uh, particularly when you are infiltrating a uh, vast criminal organization that has a lot of counterintelligence resources and are constantly on, on the lookout for people just doing exactly what you're doing. Hey, Trudy. Hey, Sonny. Hey, Trudy. How you doing, Earl? Who are we? Well, it's the same fabricated fundamentals as before. Rico, three to five on assault, force and B-wing, Pelican Bay, Sunny Marine Corps, Chicago, and 10 plus weapons, five out of eight, jump parole, Pelican Bay, where you guys hooked up, and then it goes cold. Because presumably you're both too smart and too fast to get jacked again. What about this place? It'll show up least under these aliases. How they test? Now who tested them? Eileen, and NYPD. And she worked through your false identities, and then she found your deeper hidden, more criminal selves. We want our product back. Sure. How much? How much? For what? For recovering that. Nothing. Nothing? Consider it an investment. In the future of a fine business relationship. That is because it's yours. What's yours is yours. So is this a one-time deal? Or is something else coming up? Give them the shipment on the 17th. Ma'am. Do me one favor. Yeah. Return for the risks we took in recovering your loan. 
Allow me to buy you a drink. How fast does that go? Goes very fast. Tell me. Where would you like to go? What do you like to drink? A fiend for mojitos. I know a place. What? this undercover thing where you know supposed to be buying drugs from this guy or whatever and somebody comes up on the side of the car and points a gun you know to the back of my head and he said that's how you know easy it could go wrong and things like that so it's you know it's a little bone chilling you know when you think like wow you're in this world and somebody and the gunplay is so you know uh, prevalent and so easy to to happen so it really gives you a sense uh, and it was a plastic gun but it gives you a sense that if that if that would have happened, you know, your head would have been blown off. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's a dangerous game when you play an undercover agent. The thing that I did do from Philip Michael Thomas was his swagger. I was trying to, I don't know if I even got close to it, but he had such swagger. He had such, um, it was this one, the first episode of Miami Vice, when the guys walk up to the car and he pulls a shotgun, you guys want to get out of here. And to see that coldness, that seriousness of when he, when it came time to get down, he got down, you know. And so that was the one thing that I tried to bring. And the style. You know, it's like I wanted uh, Tubbs to have style in the movie. Uh, Oswald Boateng supplied the the suits, uh, uh, you know, for Tubbs. So I wanted him to look, you know, look fly. But these guys had gone deep. Like a lot of guys that had gone into motorbike gangs and a lot of guys that had been to Colombia working, buying, transporting um, drugs from South America and through Miami. And, you know, they lived a life. They lived a life. I mean, there was various different stories. Some of them got very caught up in it, and some of them didn't. Some of them, a lot of them did it purely for the rush. I mean, they, you know, a couple of them were talking, and they weren't really doing it to help society. I mean, helping society was a good offshoot, was definitely a good benefit, but they were doing it for the rush. Michael, uh, Michael, man. You can't use can't explain in one sentence. Uh, <coughs> what the director is. I cannot explain it in several sentences how he is. This is the first time I work with him. Today we just finished and I don't really know what to say. He's such a strong director, so dedicated, so serious worker. Uh, he takes care of every detail in the scene, in the shot. He just can't focus on every single little thing in the character, every character and just can't explain how he is in a one single sentence. Uh, he always gives you impossible missions, just those things you know you just cannot achieve. And he says, yeah, you can do it, go for it. And some, somehow he gives you energy, a lot of it, and then I don't know how, but I do it. <laughs> I just finished the movie. I, I just saw him right now. I don't know what to say. I told him I didn't know what to say, and he said that he she didn't uh, that I didn't have to say anything because everything was in the movie. 
我说我做不到，我不可能，你可以。<笑>